Is she really a Northwind warrior? It looks like she's just a child. She also had this order on her, mistress. What's more, mistress, if you pardon my interruption, she's wearing that necklace. Very well. Let me examine her to check her magic synergy. We need to talk, outsider. Huh? What is this place? By the North Wind? You all look... Strange. Just who exactly are you? Are you Ephesians? Yes, we're Ephesians. Aristor, to be precise. And it was I, Minerva, who gave the order to capture the North Wind Legion's men. Fortunately for me, you're the one we encountered. It seems this is the fate the three have bestowed upon us. What are you going to do to me? And what's an Aristoi? Easy now. Aristoi only means that we are of the noble class. What's your name, child? Hilda. Hilda. You came in the name of your country's royal house to look for Commander Harold, yes? You went through my things? Calm yourself. There's more. I conducted a magical detection test on you. That's how I know you're no ordinary scout. You're also Harold's daughter. You... I'll take that as an admission. Moving on, then. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Roxanne, replay the echo. Yes, mistress. Human, as luck would have it, I'm looking for your new friend. No, not luck. I came for you. It's comforting to see you out and about, but please, stop any contact with Harold. He's of vital importance to me. Look at what you've made them do. Stop it, human. You've brought chaos to the city. That is my intention. They are excellent in combat and make highly effective parts. I plan to achieve my goal with the help of these outsiders. You're willing to destroy everything for your own agenda? <laughs> Such hypocrisy coming from you. You know full well that this city is nothing but a fading illusion. Yes, a few soldiers die, but so what? Anyone who tries to stop me must pay. You go too far, human. Release those outsiders immediately. Your actions will bring danger to all of us. Pathetic. Do you honestly think I can be dissuaded by your scorn and raised voice? Our relationship is long, Harold. And as for him, he will not listen to you. He has no choice but to do what I asked. What's more, the outsiders are completely at my mercy. Is there any argument more clear? You... You can't help him, and you know it. He will not listen to you. <laughs> to a certain degree, he is more tenacious than even me. Time is up. I've said all I am going to say, and I'll be taking my lead now. And Minerva, I think it would be best if we don't see each other again. Human! Father! What's the meaning of this? Simply put, your father's legion met with danger. The Echo Stones record events that have happened in this city. They are the pure, unadulterated truth. Any questions?
So not only was my father threatened by this Eumenides, but he was also manipulated into doing his dirty work? But they just came to investigate Aphis. How did it end up like this? Is that so? As I see it, your people shouldn't have come here in the first place. I won't harm anyone in the Northwind Legion. However, the best thing for everyone is for all of you to leave as soon as possible. If you're willing to work with me, we may be able to end this disaster with the fewest casualties. What do you think? If it means my father and fellow soldiers will be safe, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I see. Well then, on behalf of all the adherents here, I welcome you. For now, you can rest a while. You may also speak with the others here and get your gear and weapons in order. Once you're ready, come find me, and we'll discuss our plans for working together. disturb your sleep? I'm very much awake, and I have a terrible headache. But first, welcome to our home sweet home, the shelter. You may address me as Lady Roxanne. I'm the steward here. Luckily for you, most of my work doesn't involve you. Of course, if you'd like to chat with me and I happen to have some free time, I can tell you some things about this city. All right, no problem. Hmm. If I may be so bold as to ask, there's something I'm quite curious about. Why are you, a girl, coming here as a warrior? In our country, anybody can be a warrior. I don't understand what you mean. So you willingly cast off your dresses. I see. Let's talk about something else, child. Otherwise, my headache will return. What do you need? Mind your manners. Ha! You look to be in good shape. What? Don't look at me all nervously like that. I'm the one who should be nervous. <laughs> there aren't many who can push me to going all out, especially not a child like yourself. I... You don't seem very convinced. I know that feeling. When you feel just inches from striking back, probably feels terrible. Take it. Hopefully, this can give you some relief. I'd rather have another opportunity to learn from you than a gift. Ha! Learn from me? It's obvious that you're just looking for a chance at revenge. But to tell the truth, I like your spirits. 
How about a formal introduction? I'm Bion, Mistress Minerva's guard captain. I'm in charge of work arrangements and operational command in the shelter. I'm also the one who retrieved that echo you just listened to. Now then, aside from tips on how to defeat me, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Yes? like sparring. The glory of the three. so accepting, but you look completely unfazed. I guess you're not the average outsider, are you? I admire that. I'm Vulcane. I'm the smith here. I'm also in charge of our weapons and armor. I'm pretty good, if I do say so myself. Wanna see? Hey, sweetie, what's up?
Thank you. Thank you.